All right, welcome to the first day of 4-4. Our focus is going to be on writing equations. Uh, and when we do this, we want to make sure that we are writing our equations in terms of x. So you're going to see that here, okay? Uh, what that means is uh, we want x on one side. We're not solving for x. Think more in terms of like y equals mx plus b. Uh, we want um, our equations in terms of x. All right, so things to think about as we're going through some of these problems. Number one, something that you should have learned from geometry. Always think about uh, drawing a picture. Pictures help. Pictures worth a thousand words. Next, you want to think about uh, formulas that you might need. Um, area of a triangle formula, perimeter, area of a rectangle, uh, circumference, any uh, formulas that you might need. Then what our focus is going to be is taking those formulas and rewriting them in, um, in terms of x. Okay, And then from there, we're going to uh, use our equations. Sometimes we have to substitute one equation in for another. And then think about uh, domain. A uh, simple idea is, you know, um, you know, if we're talking about uh, length and width, it has to be positive, it can't be negative, that type of thing. All right, let's go ahead and dive in and uh, look at an example. All right, in example one, it says that a rectangle is inscribed in a circle with a diameter of eight. All right, well, let's just start with that. Okay, so we've got our uh, circle. Okay, next we have a rectangle that is going to be inscribed in it. And just adjust that a little bit. All right, next. Uh, I'm going to draw in my diameter. Okay, and then the second part says is, uh, it wants us to express the perimeter of the rectangle as a function of its width, x. All right, so here's our width, x. Okay, we don't know what the other side is, but normally we call that length, so we'll just call that length here. All right. So formulas, uh, like it says in the chart above, things that you got to be thinking about. Number one, it says perimeter. Well, perimeter of a rectangle is equal to two lengths plus two widths. Okay. Our width, we already know. Perimeter so far is two lengths plus two x. Okay. So our focus right now is going to be uh, changing our L into x's in some way, shape, or form. All right, so sometimes you need to use other things in order to do that. So I look at my rectangle that got cut in half by the diameter, and I see a right triangle here. And so something that kind of pops into my head is, hey, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's go ahead and do that. I am going to say that x squared plus L squared is equal to 8 squared. All right, now remember, our goal is to change L into X. So that means for this case, we need to get L by itself. So get it L in terms of X so that we can then replace it. So L squared is equal to 64. And if I move the X to the other side, minus X squared. Then I'm going to take the square root of both sides and L is going to equal the square root of 64 minus X squared. All right, so one of the things um, that, you know, it talks about up here, you know, dealing with the idea of domain, I did not do plus or minus just because I already know that length can't be negative. All right, so our goal now is to take what L is equal to and plug it in up here. So perimeter is now equal to two sets of the square root of 64 minus x squared and then plus 2x and now we have our formula that we want for perimeter. Uh, something that comes up every once in a while that some people ask about is you know how come you know we don't simplify this square root here and uh, it can't be um, it's not a perfect square. I know you're thinking, oh, the square root of 64 is 8 and the square root of x squared is x. But uh, remember, uh, order of operations, you would have to subtract for first before you could take the square root. So, And we can't do that. All right, so here we go. 
All right, let's take a look at another example. All right, in example two here, it talks about the perimeter of a rectangle. Well, we just did a little bit of perimeter, and it talks about the area. All right, so starting with our picture, we've got a rectangle. Uh, the perimeter is uh, 100, so P is equal to 100 centimeters. And express the area in terms of X with its width. All right. So uh, we're going to use this idea of the 100 being the perimeter because if, again, we use L for our length, we know 100 is equal to 2 L's plus two x's. We've got to get the L by itself, so I'm going to do 100 is, e um, sorry, 100 minus 2x is equal to 2L. And then I'm going to divide by 2, and I'm going to get L is equal to 50 minus x. So now I've got a uh, value for our length in terms of x which now I can use for our area formula. So if area is equal to length times width, then area is equal to a 50 minus x times the width x. And if I distribute through, I get 50x minus x squared. And now I've got an equation for the area of our rectangle. All right, third example. A point x, y lies in the first quadrant on the param, uh, parabola y equal to 16 minus x squared. Oh, well, we just graphed parabolas in the last section. Great. Express the area in terms of the triangle, triangular region as a function of x. All right, so this one's going to be a little tricky. You're going to need a little help on this one. All right, first of all, I'm going to draw my x and y axis. Next, I have a parabola. I know that 16 is the, uh, you know, the top or the max of the parabola, that it is going to look like this, okay? And this is the point 0, 16. If I plugged in 0 for x, I would get 16. That gives me my maximum value. All right. What it's asking for us is it is saying that there is a point x comma y, that if we create a triangle from the origin to this point, okay, it wants us to find the area of this triangular region. All right, so this distance here is x, is known as our base of the triangle, and this distance here is our height of the triangle, which is also our y value. All right, so equations that we need to know. We need to know the area of the triangle is equal to base times height divided by 2. Now, our focus is to put everything in terms of x. So area is equal to the base x times the height y all divided by 2. So what we have to do is we have to change our y value to something in terms of x. Well, they gave us the equation. y equals 16 minus x squared. So the area is equal to x times the quantity 16 minus x squared all over 2. Area is equal to 16x minus x cubed all over 2. You can leave it like this. If you would prefer to divide through the uh, 2, then you can change it into 8x minus 1 half x cubed. Either one of these would be accept acceptable. Once you know what your x value is, you'd be able to plug it in and you'd be able to figure out what your area is. All right, so recap. The goal here is to change all of our equations to something in terms of x. You're going to need to know some prior information, like formulas, as you've seen. Okay, and then big idea that, uh, again, from geometry, always think about drawing a picture. All right, that's uh, the lesson for today. Come with questions tomorrow.